What's up guys, it is the T-Ball and I am back with another video. So today, we're gonna be going over how Tristan Thompson saved the Cavaliers season. So before I start, be sure to drop a like and subscribe and also be sure to turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on when my newest video will be coming out. So Tristan Thompson had barely played in the playoffs and was terrible throughout the regular season. However, with the Cavs getting blown out in game six, the Cavs needed to make a change to their front court as starting Love at center gave the Indiana Pacers a huge advantage in the paint. So Ty Lue decided to start Tristan Thompson at center to combat Miles Turner and Demonis Sabonis. And while it was a risky move, it worked out with the Cavs beating the Pacers by a score of 105 to 101. Thompson was critical in the first quarter where he put up 6 points and 7 rebounds, giving the Cavs a 31 to 19 lead over Indiana. He provided energy and rebounding for the Cavs, and that was huge in getting the Cavs off to a quick start. For the game, he grabbed 10 rebounds, with 5 of them being offensive and that was huge in giving the Cavaliers extra scoring opportunities. Also, Thompson was very efficient from the field, shooting 5 of 6 from the field, and he was solid in getting putbacks and finishing buckets in the pick and roll. This is a huge difference from the regular season where it seemed like Thompson forgot how to finish at the rim. He was great in drawing fouls and getting to the free throw line as well, and he was critical in getting Turner to foul out of the game. His free throw shooting was also huge as he shot 5 of 6 from the free throw line, for 83.3% which is much higher than his career average. But I think the most important asset that Thompson brought to the Cavs in this game was his defense both at the rim and specifically on Turner and Sabonis. He played solid defense on Turner and limited his scoring in the paint as Turner finished with only 7 points on the night. He was solid in protecting the rim today as well as he had that huge block on Darren Collison in the clutch that prevented the Pacers from getting any sort of momentum going again. Like his finishing at the rim, his defense was much better in this game compared to the regular season and that was great to see. Overall, Thompson had a great game and it will be interesting to see if he will start against the Raptors in Game 1. The Raptors also have a very physical center in Valanchunas and I don't think Love could guard him in the paint. So with that in mind, I think it's pretty likely that Thompson will draw to start. Hopefully he'll play well, but we'll see what happens as Thompson needs to prove again that he can do this consistently after his terrible regular season. The Cavs need him and hopefully he'll step it up. But obviously, the Cavs need more than just him, as the Raptors backcourt of Kyle Lowry and DeMar DeRozan is a nightmare matchup for the Cavs guards. The Cavaliers are definitely going to need guys like Rodney Hood, Jordan Clarkson, and George Hill to step it up, or the Cavs will have no chance at beating the Raptors. LeBron can only do so much and if they can't get any output from their guards, the Raptors are going to be impossible to beat. Rodney Hood and Jordan Clarkson especially need to step it up as those two guys have looked terrible so far in the playoffs, but hopefully they'll get it going. But it's definitely going to be a fun matchup between the Raptors and the Cavs and I can't wait for it to start. So that's a wrap. Thanks guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video and want to see more daily NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe and also be sure to turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on when my newest video will be coming out. Also drop a comment down below on who you think will win the Cavs vs the Raptors series. Let me know as I do read all comments and I'll definitely try to get back to most of you guys. So once again, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys soon for my next video. Peace.